Hi everyone, welcome to Sue's Day. I'm Sue Ann Jafarian, the fat woman driving the novel RV. I'm coming to you today from what is now one of my absolute favorite campgrounds ever. It's Johnson Creek, just outside Durant, Oklahoma. <clears throat> That's the Texoma Lake behind me. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, this park was recommended to me by another park another campground host and boy she was right she knew I'd love it here and I do anyway um, I'll be leaving here in a few days right before Memorial weekend and uh, and I have some exciting news to tell you about that but as a lot of you may know or remember I haven't been traveling around a whole lot for the last six months I've been staying in a lot of campgrounds rather than traveling around and uh, going hither and yon. And the reason for that initially was that my propane wasn't working. So I had no way to heat the van or to heat hot water until it was fixed. I had a lot of trouble finding anyone who would fix it or even touch it. Um, but I spent most of the winter in Alabama and Mississippi bouncing from one campground to another and discovering new favorites. One of my absolute new favorites is uh, Foscue Creek, right outside Demopolis, Alabama. I love that place and I went back there. I think I spent four weeks there split up. Another favorite is uh, the one in Wetumpka and I was there off and on for a couple of months in the winter. Uh, part of it was because of my propane and part of it was I didn't really want to be traveling hither and yon with all the crazy storms that came through this winter. I spent one month at Davis Bayou Campground in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, another favorite. But in mid-March, I took off and I met up with some friends in Louisiana, some Winnebago people for a meetup. And after that, I went to Texas and stayed at another favorite campground, Magnolia Ridge, which is just west of Jasper, Texas. I love that campground. I go back there every year for at least a few days, if not two full weeks. But after that, I went down to Rocky Point, uh, another Army Corps of Engineer campground that is west of Houston. And I mean, it's like an hour west of Houston. It's not like right outside Houston. And the reason is I was able to get somebody to fix my propane who is located in Tomball, Texas. Now I've used Blackbird RV before years ago as a mobile RV uh, repair service and they did a wonderful job. And I remembered them kind of one day when I was sitting there lamenting, how am I gonna get my propane fixed? And I called them and they said, bring it by and let's look at it. Well, they diagnosed it correctly. And then we ordered the part and the part came in a few days later and they fixed it. Yay! I now can boondock again. Ah, yay! I can heat uh, my hot water and my van on propane. I can cook with propane again. Um, it worked out really, really well. For those of you wondering how I cooked without propane for, I was without propane for almost eight months, um, plugged into a campground, I used my microwave and my electric skillet, and that served me very well. But now the van is in full swing and I'm excited, but uh, I still was camping after I left uh, Rocky Point. I met up with a friend at Oak Campground. And then after that, I went up to another favorite campground called Brushy Creek. It's on the Lake of the Pines in Texas, right outside Marshall, Texas. I was there not quite two weeks. Love it. That's, a, that's one of those campgrounds like this one where when I drive in, I feel like I'm coming home. And from there, I came up to Oklahoma because I had some time to kill before my next adventure. So here I am, and in a few days, I start that new adventure. You see, my friend Stacy, who uh, also has a Travado, 
she and I have traveled together before, but she's been off the road over a year and now she's ready to get back on. And we are going to launch on the Monday of Memorial weekend, Stacy and Sue's Excellent Adventure 2023. Two Travados, two women, two cats. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Uh, we don't have a hard and fast route or itinerary, but the plan is to investigate the area in the Northern United States and along the Canadian border from about Minnesota heading to the East Coast. That's our plan. So we kick that off on Monday. So, I just have a few more days of uh, relaxation in a campground and then I'll be doing more boondocking and I'll be camping with Stacy. We'll be seeing friends and new sites and we hope you'll come along. Now, we'll still be doing, or I'll still be doing Sue's Day videos and Stacy will probably join me for a lot of them. Uh, I'll still be posting on Facebook, but if you want to follow Stacy and Sue's excellent adventure with Kitty and Moxie, um, please subscribe to my patron page. Uh, the Novel RV Journal is on Patreon and I journal there every single day with a lot of pictures, if I have them, of what I did that day. And once Stacy and I get rolling, there's gonna be a lot of new and fun things to post there. So if you want to see the day-to-day -day living of a nomad and see some new sites all along the northern border of this lovely country and into Canada, another lovely country, please subscribe to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Uh, it is a subscription service. It starts at $5 a month. I mean, $5 a month for 30, 31 posts is pretty reasonable. And uh, well, it's the price of a cup of fancy coffee, isn't it? For one day and you get a whole month of that. So there are different tiers and different things that uh, I give to those different tiers throughout the month or throughout the year. But please consider looking into it and joining so you can follow along Stacy and Sue's Excellent Adventure 2023. Now, you all have a good week and I'll see you next Sue's Day.